Hey, I'm Sean, I'm an About Tea producer and I'm here at Aze in Little Tokyo, Los Angeles. You may be familiar with our series where we take one ingredient and we try it a bunch of different ways. We were thinking a little bit more about that and thinking about how to expand on it. And so today we are asking one chef to cook one ingredient multiple ways. And we're going to get to meet Chef Akira, who will be showing us four ways that he prepares eggs. I love egg. <laughs> <laughs> So Chef Akira is kind of unique because he is a Japanese chef, but he is trained in French cooking. So I'm really excited to see what Chef Akira is able to do with them. Wait, do you want me to walk in? Yeah. Oh, uh oh. I was born in Kyoto, Japan. About age of eight, elementary school, second grade, I guess. The teacher asking you what do you want to be in the future. Some of the students say, I want to be a policeman. I want to be a baseball player. I want to be a chef. I wrote that my mom told me. That time I didn't know which chef, you know, Japanese, Chinese, French, European, Italian. I didn't go to school right away. I went to, straight to the Azure Lido village, 1800 population that time, only one Asian. I was in the kitchen, do anything. Now Akira, can you go get uh, this wine? Okay, you see this wine, you go there, left side, you see the wine. Yes, chef, we chef, it's always. I don't understand. Just do what to whatever I say. You know, yeah. even bad word, I don't understand. Why do you like eggs? Why I like eggs? Yeah. Mm, it's, it's, it's difficult to say. Just, I, you, you like it, I like it's it. It's nothing more than that. It's yeah. Just, like, yeah. <laughs> so first of all, what does chawan machine mean? Chawan is a rice bowl. Mm -hmm. Mushi is a steam. So chawan, mushi, that's that dishes. So you said you grew up eating it. Did you eat it often? Uh, chawamushi, not really. But I like the eggs. I gotta put the lemon whole eggs to crack yeah. the eggs. It's oh. easy to crack in the flat area. Not in the edge here. You gotta get the shell inside. And then I have a, a half gallon of katsu dashi, cool, you know, not a temperature. So I gonna mix it together. French beer stock take up two, three days. Katsu dashi Japanese broth take only like a 30 minutes. What a difference. Easy, <laughs> but easy. they have to make it almost every day. Yeah. We strain. Just in case there's a little shell or more, more silky, we need more silky. Add it a little bit to show you. And uh, just a pinch of the salt. Okay, there you go. So inside garnish, I have a shiitake, cook in the dashi, show you, kamaboko, and raw shrimp, and the enoki mushroom. In the end, I'm gonna put the mitsuba. This is a steamy pan. I have a water inside. The steam comes from the hole. And then cover, beginning, high heat. When you start seeing the steam, you put down the low medium, because otherwise the egg's gonna break. Once it's steam, maybe 20, to 30 minutes, not exactly always. So we have to watch it all the time. If someone wanted to make it at home, how yes. would they cook it? You can do this kind of pot, but you need uh, some kind of lift. You put in the paper and a little bit of water and cover, a low heat. Cool. And sometimes you have to take it out because steam goes in on the top, water drops to the inside, it's not gonna be hard. I do the same, same thing. Last open before I, I decide. Oh, it looks good. See, like this. See, not, not, it's, 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 it's shaking, but uh, it's not that running. All right, so we're going to try it? Yes. <laughs> it's really good. I love egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like porky. Yeah. You use fish dashi though, right? Yeah. Yeah. But not too strong, because you have to taste the egg too. Ooh, oh. My grandma used to make this, mm -hmm. but it wasn't as fancy as this. The house, mother or grandma make it, yeah. sometimes they have a problem. Mm -hmm. They ask me, oh, how come I can make a chamoshi great? Two things, eggs and dashi combine, and also steam, mm -hmm. the temperature. This is a, make a big difference. I could eat this all day, but I can't because we have to make other things. <laughs> so to make a meringue, you have to make sure it's dry. Even you have a one good of the water, the meringue doesn't come out. Mm. So like about uh, four ounces, four ounces of the egg white, and then I have a egg white chiffon cake, 
And then this is a pastry cream. Eggs, eggs, eggs. I have a pastry cream here. This is uh, for one people. This is uh, for two people to make soft. Then I have put a little bit of money here. Not too much, just a little sip. Do you drink it while you're cooking the souffle? Not the Grand Manier. I like um, Cointreau. Cointreau? Yeah, yeah, on the rock. On the rocks, yeah. that's a good drink, <laughs> yeah. What does the Grand Marier taste like? Orange. I got a little bit here. So you have to work pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. If somebody call you, you don't pick up a phone. <laughs> okay, there you go. Butter first. Butter and eggs. Butter what eggs. A, what a great combination. I put a little bit of sugar here. If you don't put this one, it's gonna be break. Yeah. They wanna go up, but it's sticking in the edges, so it's gonna be yeah. open. I never made souffle more than eight at a time. It's a very sensitive dessert. So it does, you take out the air from inside. Ready? 350. Here you go. Cross 13 to 40 minutes. I'll, I'll set an alarm. Where did you learn to make souffle? Where I, I learned souffle? I'm not, I'm not a young chef. That's I know. <laughs> so, where I made a first souffle? Probably Longe, 1978. Wow. I was not a pastry chef, but I was looking, watching the pastry chef how they're making it. That's how you learn. Three, two, one. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> you put a little bit of hole here first. Okay. Right? Then you put the vanilla sauce inside. Ooh. Ooh. Right? Mm. Seven. It's so good. The egg flavor yeah. is there, but it's not overpowering. So, one to ten. How perfect is this for you? You're this version. This one? Yeah. Eight. Eight? What would make it better? Uh, egg white mix. I had a little bit of egg white, it was not the mixed. Oh. That's why it came out like uh, this one like this. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I give it a 10. <laughs> Thank you. So what are you going to make next? Oh, next one, tamago gohan. Tamago gohan. Tamago gohan. Okay. Hi. Let's do it. What does tamago gohan mean? Tamago gohan? Yeah. Tamago, eggs, gohan, rice. When I was little, going to school, junior high school, high school, no time to eat in the breakfast. Yeah. And I tell my my mother, don't make a, don't make a breakfast. I, I take a tamago oha so quick. In one, two minutes, finish. Make it, eat, go. Did your parents ever make it or was it just No, 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 no. <laughs> my yeah. parents never made it. Yeah. I make it in my own. <laughs> you have to make it your own. Right. Right. So. Like this. Ah. Mm. It's really good. It's very simple. Yeah, it's good. Do you use special eggs for this or? Oh, I use a uh, free range eggs. Free range eggs? Yeah, that's the only I use. Yeah, they're so, yeah. yeah. This is a free range. Egg is more yellow and more firm. Yeah. This one, the regular one. You can use everything in this one here, but uh, you know, a little bit too costly. Yeah. You have one last yes. egg dish for us. Yeah. That it's a bit of a surprise. Tell, tell me what you're going to make next. Oof cocotte. Oof cocotte. Or champignon. Or champignon. It's a French. First, I'm gonna make a sauce. What kind of mushroom would you use? I put a shimeji mushroom and then king oyster mushroom mix. Add it uh, white wine. Demi glass. We call a fond de roll. Okay, this one almost done. I'm gonna put on the side. Now is a uh, eggs. Egg. I have a pot and it was a uh, paper inside. So when you have paper, it doesn't bubble. Medium heat, probably three or four minutes. Yeah, see. The chopped parsley, crouton. It looks so beautiful. Ooh, hot. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's so good. 
The combination is really nice. Wow. So this is normally an appetizer? Appetizer, yeah. Okay. This is appetizer. When I saw you take out the ramekins, I yeah. immediately thought, oh, it's like another tawamushi. Oh, but yeah. But it tastes... The egg flavor is there, but it's really different. Like, yeah. I think the demi glass sauce really changes the, the flavor of the egg. Well, you know, mushroom sauce yeah. and the eggs make a mild. Hmm. You know, that's yeah. the way you can think. Yeah. 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 Any last things you want to say? About the eggs? Uh, eggs or life or... I don't know, kind of joke? <laughs> sure. You know, I call them, right? Yeah, yeah. Eggs chicken and the rice. Parent and the kid, it should be a real chicken that has a own eggs, then you make it. Otherwise, uh, it's a different, different. It's a very good joke that would be very hard to translate into English. We'll try our best to translate that into the caption. <laughs> Thank you for having me today. The food was so, it was so good. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for being here.